Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Magic the Gathering video and this time featuring a deck that I like to call Unleash Hell. And you can't really see it's called Unleash Hell because my giant face is hiding half of it. But basically it's a Jund deck that its entire purpose is to unleash total hellfire over your opponent. Now, let me just tell you, this deck is really good. <laughs> I've managed to climb with it until, you know, I reached high platinum. That's where I'm at right now. And basically, I deranked a lot while trying to actually make this deck because this deck looked totally different when I initially, you know, started. I'm still a novice at deck building in Magic the Gathering, so naturally this deck needed a lot of refinements. Took me quite a few days to do so. But yeah, uh, this deck is really good. <laughs> this deck is really good, and I'm really proud of myself for actually managed to pull such a high caliber of a John deck because I'm honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just learning as I go. That's why I D rank a lot. I make a lot of mistakes while deck building, but I learn. I learn, and hopefully in the future I can bring you way cooler decks that are way more, you know, refined and just better overall. But that's all for now, so I'm super excited to actually show you this deck. Uh, so you can really see it, we're, we're gonna show this deck like this, we're gonna pull it up later. So basically the whole premise of this deck, as you can probably see, is to play just big, big stuff. Basically we have the Chandra, we have the Trumpeting uh, Carnosaur, we have the Et Tally, which is superb, and as mostly you can see, this is a Rakdos deck, pretty much 90%. The only reason we run green is because of enchantment and artifact hate. Uh, you know, we don't like to see it. <laughs> there are a lot of enchantments and artifacts running around right now, and you really want that green just to take care of those pesky, pesky players. And outside of that, what do we run? How do we get to our big, cool cards? Well. We run a lot of lands. This is an a 27 land deck. It used to be 28, but I cut one land because I felt like 27 is fine because we do have a lot of options to cycle. We have four copies of Big Score. We have two copies of the Brass Tunnel Grinder, dude. What a phenomenal card. You will rarely flip it because the opponents will just concede or it's just too slow, but Guys, the initial effect is honestly really, really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. So yeah, uh, two copies of this, insanely good card in this deck. If you somehow manage to flip it, you just win, but you won't flip it. Uh, outside of that, what do we have? We have removal, we have cut down, we have go for the throat, we have Shelly's Edict. Terra Sunder is, you know, can be used as a removal if you want to kick it. So it's also really, really good. Now, something that's sorta in between is the Aklatots, which is my recent addition to this deck. I actually hadn't um, have him in this deck, you know, I hadn't have him... Yeah, I didn't have him in, in this deck, <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. The reason I didn't have him, because I didn't thought it was too good or too synergistic, but I was totally wrong. It's not about the synergy, it's about the fact that he just provides everything this deck needs. So basically, he provides lifelink against aggro, and when he dies, he provides mana for bigger stuff. So either way, playing him is never a bad thing. That's why we have three copies, which is a lot. He's just really good. He just fits so naturally into this deck. And yeah, pretty much the rest of it, I believe, is, you know, I, I'm, you know, self-explanatory. We run four copies of Virtue for the enchantments and for the sick removal. Also, we totally want a dumpster on aggro. And two copies of Breach, because if you can get the Chandra and Breach combo, it's insane. Don't aspire to get it every single time, because you won't, it's extremely hard. But if you can, you just won the game, and it's super fun and super satisfying to do. Uh, but yeah, just casting the Breach on its own is game-winning, honestly. Just People just concede. <laughs> Whenever you play this card, people just concede. But that's the entire premise of this deck. Just get your lands, you know, we have 27, it shouldn't be that difficult and play your big score. If you want a, a secondary, you know, mulligan or cycle, you can just breast tunnel grinder, which is phenomenal. And we have, of course, three copies of the Cavern of Souls because we don't want people to counter our big dinos. So that's pretty much it for the main deck. In terms of sideboard, 
Uh, this is what we got. We got cut down. Even though we have two in our deck already, we got more cut down. Two copies because, you know, it's so good. It's honestly such a good removal. We got two copies of Dear Ass. We got three copies of Lithomantic Barrage. Dude, I'm in love with this card. I'm in love with it. I will never stop putting this card in my sideboard. Please, I wish this card could stay forever. Honestly, against all of this pesky Esper decks running around right now, yeah, this is good. I might even add one more copy to the sideboard, if I'm being honest. I'm just in love with this card. It's so good. Now, uh, two copies of Pilfer, because Pilfer is great as well. Two copies of Brotherhood, and just in case you feel like you need more, you know, anti-aggro tools, even though you have a lot of removal, this is still really, really great. Uh, Riveteer's Charm, rarely you're gonna use it. It's very rarely you're gonna use it. You're mostly gonna use it for the Exile the Graveyard. Some people still run Graveyard deck-based uh, decks, so having Riveteer's Charms is great. Also, it has pretty neat effect. I mean, you can make someone sacrifice the, uh, you know, Planeswalker, a creature with the highest mana value, which is really good. You can exile Graveyard, which is mostly what you're gonna use this card for, or you can exile top three cards of your library to use it to draw, which is actually still really good. <laughs> really, really good. Now, of course, we have literally Unleashing the Inferno, which literally just, you know, unleash total hell over your opponent. Basically, more enchantment hate and more artifact hate. That's all you need to, you know, all you need to do. So the good thing about Unleash the Inferno is the fact that a lot of people are running cheap enchantment right now. A lot of people running up the beanstalk and maybe wedding announcements and stuff like that. So if you Unleash the Inferno, a unit with even uh, four health, you still get the enchantment and the artifact. So that's good. That's good. That's almost a guaranteed two for one. The, yeah, like, it's, it's just good. It's just a really good card. And that's basically pretty much it for the deck. The premise of it is really simple. Like, get your lens, cycle for everything you need. Big score as soon as possible. Honestly, you really want a big score as soon as possible just to get the two treasure tokens that can ramp you into your Itali or into the Chandra, whatever, onto the Breach, you know, just your big stuff. I wouldn't recommend actually using the big score to ramp into the Trumpeting, unless you're really desperate, because if you can big score, then play a land, and then a tally the next turn, that's huge. That's, that's game-winning. So that's what you should aspire for, but if you're lacking the mana, things haven't gone your way, you should definitely uh, play Chandra or play uh, the Trumpeting Carnosaur. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, I have some pretty spicy matches coming for you soon. And basically just two matches which were really, really funny. And believe me, you want to stay for the final match because it was hilarious. It was one of my best games so far. And that's all for now. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, okay, that's, uh, that's actually a solid hand. That's a solid hand. I like that. That's a keep for me. Now he plays mono red and I instantly lose. Because that's not, that's not a hand uh, suitable for that. Okay, so Esper. That's great. Let's play this. Esper Legends, man. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Holy. Raffine. Well, we can pay. We can pay the tithe. We do have a big score, which is pretty sick. So we're gonna do this. And also we have the Cavern of Souls, which is kind of great. If we do end up top decking a uh, dinosaur. Okay, if he plays Wedding Announcement, that would be sick, because I have the Terra Sunder. He didn't. Oh, nice. Bat. And pass. <clears throat> Deep Cavern Bat, sure. So we have to use it like this, even though I kind of want to use it on an enchantment. I cannot let him take anything I have. 
And I really want to play the Aklatot because it's so good. It's honestly so good. So we know I have Breach, so we're gonna save a counter spell for that. But it's fine. Oh, we can kill the Denik. But let's go for the Bat God for now, because it forces a removal out of him. Which I really, really like. Because I get mana. And getting mana is always nice. Rafine Tower. Ah, oh, that's... <laughs> okay, thank you. you. You should have done this before. We do need to deal with the Danik, though. We do need to deal with Danik. Knight. Okay. Why would you summon him right now? Unless you have wedding announcement. Not even wedding announcement doesn't make sense. Ooh, he's... Ooh, dude, you're giving me an army. Wait, that's game, dude. That's literally game. What? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Why would you do that? So now we force him to discard. And I guess we kill Denik. Now we can do this. Uh, we can kill Rafine next turn. Actually, you won't attack. So maybe just killing the Denik is the play. Now I actually wanna be. Uh, I want a big score. I want a big score. Yep, it yep. He's not going to attack with Rafine, so it's fine. Get baited, kid. And... Damn, I kind of want to deal with Danik, but... This unit gotta go. Because he targeted him. And... We big score. That's it. Nice. Not a big score and another land. So, oddly enough, we can just do this, and I don't think it harms us one bit. Yep. Danik dead. Perfect. And let's see what you kept there in your hand. Was this a counter spell? Oh, I accidentally attacked with this one. Ah, forgot about the tiny dude. Never mind, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, Ganjo! Hey, oh! Come on, dude. So now that we know we're safe, it's, I guess, Chandra time. We want to deal with Rafine, right? Oh no, we can't, yeah. Uh, we plus two time. Turn Phyrexia to ash. Uh, yep, discard. Yep, draw two. Uh, draw two more. And I can actually do... Wait, it's once a turn? Yeah, yeah, it's only once a turn. Not sure. We'll call it for now. And yeah, that's basically game. Ooh, that's desperate, dude. Let's destroy it. Uh, we can actually... Wait, we can actually do this. Much rather do that, if I'm being honest. Even though I could have doubled go for this route. But I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to save it. Uh-huh. Oh, what? 
Dude, that was hyper desperation. Well, uh, next turn is gonna be sick. Get ready for it. Well, I mean, he, he, he know he lost. So the, it's kind of weird for me. He's not conceding. He know I have the Breach, and now he knows I have the Chandra. So I just find it odd he's not conceding. Well, let's give him a good game. Let's, uh... Plus two. Black and black. And we double breach, dude. Uh, my graveyard, his graveyard. Does he have anything in hand? No. So I guess the Wonder Emperor for you. And trumpeting for me. Let's discover five. Shelly's Edict, just what I like to see. Come on, man. E easy clear. And second one is down. Oh my god, dude, another Chandra. This is hilarious. Uh, a tally. Sure, why not? And I guess we can go from... Uh, we can take on Rafim. Sure. I'll have Rafim. <laughs> dude, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, man. we could have we could have done this forever. We could have done this forever. So yeah, now that I know that he's playing Esper Legends, some things are gonna change. Uh one less Akla thought. I actually think Chandra is bad. Even though she popped off, we kinda got lucky. Virtue is also not that great. We need barrage. We need not butter hand. We need pilfer. At least Inferno is also really good instead of Terra Sunder. Unleashed the Inferno is really good. So we put it instead of Terra Sunder. And I guess just Dure Ass. Is it good? Uh Duress is kinda good here. But I don't know, instead of what? Maybe one less a tally. Oh, Katon is also so good. But there's so many good stuff. Yeah, Katon is really good. I definitely want four copies of it. Even though I do have the Barrage. So maybe one, th maybe three copies. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But I'm pretty sure that's, that's what I like to see here. Like, that's the winning hand. Maybe no breach, uh, no virtue now that I have all this removal, this, and the rest. I think that's fine. I have enough removal. <clears throat> I have a lot of removal. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's not that good. Okay, oh, that's perfect, dude. That, this card just made his hand 10 times better. So now we're gonna get batted. Yeah, but he has to take the go for the throw, so it's fine. This card needs to be banned, by the way. This card has 100% play rate in every single black deck. In every single mid-range deck, this card see like 100% play. Wait, do you take my pilfer? Instead instead of my go for the throat? Dude, what? What are you on about? Raffinable moment? I guess he was afraid I'll take Rafine. Sure. Yeah, we got a mulligan this entire hand. Breach and you are way too slow. These two can stay. This land needs to go, because I'll draw another land. Exactly. Ah, oh, dude. Need to make Barrage, that's what I like to see! Ah, oh, man. That's kinda sucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, take the Barrage, man. D don't even think about it. There's literally nothing to think about. Just take the Barrage. Then you force me to Inferno you. Man, this card is... it needs to get banned. It is so good. It's like... Uh, 
It's like the Reckoner Bankbuster of like black. Everyone is playing it. It's so ubiquitous. It's just so ubiquitous. You see it everywhere, man. Because it's just that good, right? It's just that good. Yeah, and now I can't really kill Rafine. That's fine. We can we have other ways to win. Yeah, the bat needs to get banned, honestly. That, that, that's just like my opinion. This card is way too It's so ubiquitous. It's like a Reckoner Bank Buster. It's way too powerful. It's like, oh, I'm building a mid range deck. It has black in it. Okay, so four copies of bat. Because it's literally insane. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, okay, through two land. Wow, that, that's insane, dude. You needed to give him plus one, plus one, so he wouldn't die to the Lithomatic Barrage. That, that's re that was a misplay, dude. That was a huge misplay. So, naturally, we're gonna capitalize on that misplay. I won't pay. I pilfer. Nice Tisha, dude. And we do this. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I do need the six, ma the six mana. Dinosaur. Oh, I'm about to die, though. I'm about to die. I need to get removal of something. Ooh. Okay. I guess I can attack, but there's nothing I want to, to discard and draw. Even though I kind of want to feed my breast tunnel, but... The cavern is still good. The cavern is still good. I can't afford to draw it. I mean, I might not get it. I get a land. Or I might get a tap land and then I totally lost. Okay, so this is interesting. He still have one card. So I can basically do two things here. I can go for the a tally. Or I can go for the breach. But I, since I have this, I guess I just might go for the Atali. I think it's just way better, right? Just in case he does have that counter spell. Ooh! Woo, 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 woo. That's very good! I like that! Two removal spells. Not the best hit, but certainly not the worst, dude. Okay, so it was an enchantment. I should take the risk and I guess just breach next turn. I'm about to die. Yepity yep. Oh, you didn't talk that. I guess you want to make one more token, that makes sense. Well, uh, I do lose next turn. So I need to get insanely lucky. Yeah, he just one upped me. Uh, the bat, the bat just single single handedly won in the game. That is one hundred percent okay. We do have a flyer. We do have a flyer that can block him for one turn though, and we can have the deep cavern bat, which is take whatever he has. So I like that. Oh wait, we do have our own flyer. So yeah, we definitely need that. Definitely need that, and we can we can now take Rafine, so he'll block. And that's it, yeah. And we need to attack. Knive. Sure, we'll discard this. There we go. And we did descend because of the connive, which is hilarious. So what do you want to do? Just play the enchantment? If he plays the enchantment, it's gonna be bad for us in the long run, so we need to finish this quickly. But right now we can't do this. We have flyers, we have tramplers. Like, we can do this. This is solid.
<clears throat> so that's interesting. Okay. Okay, make disappear off the top. We know that, so we we might I mean he might as well just try to the bin. I didn't. Okay. Wandering Emperor. Okay, but now that means you can't rest the Santaraj. So that's actually not that bad. That was a really slow My turn. Judgment is final. And I can in fact just defend. Okay, that's it's kinda big. Uh I guess we can do both, right? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, we can. Now we can. We need to play this because we, we're missing one more land. Okay, we do this. See what we get. Ah, nice. We did end up getting a big score anyway. So, Brass Tunnel now flips. That's great news for us. And I'm guessing we just attack. We force him to discard whatever the hell he's holding. And we gain some life steal. And we connive. Perfect, we got exactly what we wanted. So we can discard two to heal, or we can keep the Carnosaur for next turn, which I think is the better option. Perfect. Emperor dead, I heal five. I have a blocker, I have removal. This is great. Even though we know he has a counter spell right now, we have we know we have nothing in hand. What did he discard, by the way? Oh, another virtue? Sick. Okay. Uh, wait, do we just survive? Yeah, we just need to do this. And block. You should have waited one more turn, man. I live. That's it. That's game. Dear ass, kick a G. And this. Now we are going to put this on you, of course. GG. Yeah. Wow, we got there. We got there. That was hyper close second match. GG, though, dude. Nice. I get to go first. Uh, yep. Yeah, we keep. We keep. We have the Zaytora proving ground to Mulligan, so it's fine. Oh, nice, we're against Esper. That's always lovely to see. So, here comes the bat. Up the beanstalk. Wait, an Atraxa? Okay, uh, we do have some enchantment removal. And we did end up getting the Itali. So, let's play the tap land now. Now that we know that we're not against an Esper. Kinda hope we see the enchantment removal. Virtue of Persistence does kinda suck though. It's kind of a dead card. But that's what we have sideboard for. Hopefully uh, we get to see some card draw. Like the Breast Tunnel, that would be insanely good. We got three copies, so it's not unlikely. The fact that we keep drawing lands is actually really good. Because now we actually have six lands for the Chandra. So that's that's phenomenal, dude. That's actually really good. That's really great. Ooh, secondary of the Beanstalk. Tear ass, you're in there. Just need to top deck it. Overgrown farmland. That's not something you usually run. So next turn we be Chandra. Wait, that's that's not an Atraxa deck. What what is he playing? He's playing up the Beanstalk. So I mean I guess I guess I'll steal Chandra. You have no 
and we're going to minus four, so she won't be completely useless if he ossification or something. Yeah, we, we should get value out of her. Exactly, that's why we did that. So now at least we can get some value out of her. And now we have seven, so basically we can just free to Itali. Eternal Wonder. Oh. I guess that's kind of suck. Well, one part of me does want to deal with her. I brought back. Let's deal with her. She's way too risky. Each opponent sacrifice a Planeswalker. And we're doing this. And that's it. I really don't want to play this land. I would just want to discard it, but I didn't get any outlets. Abde Beanstalk. Oh man, you have three. He's gonna Giga draw. I don't like that. We need to finish him quickly. Oh. It's this. Okay. Now I know. Resolve, resolve, resolve. Oddly enough, I can mill him, which is quite funny. Yep. Yep, the fairy. I feel bad when you lose. I'm quite a tough opponent. Okay, that's good. We that, that's. <coughs> Whoa! I choked there. That's actually mean. We can literally play a tally. And uh, we'll hit something good. Uh, go for it. Dude. We whiffed so hard. Holy. Okay, that was a ginormous whiff. Uh, we play this. We explore. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, that, that was a ginormous whiff. Ginormous whiff. But he does have to deal with the Italian, that's for sure. And we do have Trumpeting. Even though I kind of want to play Virtue, he got the removal for it. He's playing white, that, that's too scary. Man, Breach of the Multiverse is gonna be so sick if I draw it. It's gonna be insane. But I just have to trumpeting and hope for something good. Yeah, he, he just popped off, dude. He popped off 100%. Three up the beanstalk, perfect draws. And unfortunately, I whiffed. But the up the beanstalk actually serves me quite well. Nice, we got a Menland. Important. Let's see the bad god. Hey, that's actually really good. That's actually a really good hit. Now we get to Mulligan this, as I said. I actually kind of want to keep the Menland, so I'm going to choose to keep it. And I guess we can explore once. Just to see what we had up there. <clears throat> A land. Okay, let's explore twice then. Lands are pretty good. Oh, that's great. We keep. Oh, you have a third removal? Oh no, he's gonna cycle? Sure. Oh man, he's drawing a lot, I don't like this. Yeah, for well, probably. But if he for wells, he pretty much screams himself over. Keep up. That makes sense. So, that's exactly why I wanted to play the Restless Cottage. Just because I knew he's gonna remove everything I play. Uh-huh. Oh, 
Oddly enough, we can mill him if we just draw the right card. I almost want to breast tunnel grinder again, dude. I think I should. Um, uh, damn. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not enough. I can play one land. I mean, I definitely need to Restless Cottage. Because he's about to ultimate me. I, I need to Restless Cottage. Yeah, I think that's game. I think he's about to ult me. That's game. Damn. I was so close as well. I was so close, but he popped off. Yeah, March of Otherworldly Light. Uh, a scavern bat. Well, he's close to getting an ultimate, so he gotta be removed. So I'm pretty sure I just lost here. But we have to wait and see. If I top deck breach to the multiverse, I can still win by milling him. Okay, he decided to minus. That's actually good for me. Phyrexian Flesh Burger. Yeah, so I think the plan is to win by milling. I'm not gonna win by damage, that's 100% sure. I think this is guaranteed by this point. But we just have to get lucky, man. Like, we didn't get lucky. That's all that comes down to. He drew so much. Uh huh. Second here, second. Wandering Emperor. Uh, I guess. I'm home. Yeah, we'll just see what we're gonna get. May your blades okay. We have to play this. Okay, here's the breach. That's what we hope for. So, a tally, right? Now, I guess the Chandra is the play here. Atraxa is definitely the play for me, by the way. We definitely put Atraxa in. So, question is, a tally or Chandra? Chandra can deal with all the Planeswalker. Which I think is most important right now. Yeah, I think Chandra is the play. So I am, in fact, gonna need to get an untapped land, which is this one. I'm gonna get Breach. I'm gonna get a Tally, big score. And that's it. Okay, that's pretty tough. Now, I need to... Go for the throat. Oh, that's a non-artifact creature. That's kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So I can virtue of persistence copy it. Virtue of persistence. Uh, I will take fourteen damage. That's fine. We have to deal with him right now. Take action. Yes. Okay, we dealt with him. Minus three. The Chandra, you, and you are gone. We will meet again. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, okay, that was quite a play. Oh my god, dude. Whoo, that was tense. That was tense. To say the least. And by the way, he's about to lose to me milling him. The, which is crazy, dude. We actually got the Atrox. <laughs> so if he plays anything above 5, he
he instantly loses to the Breach the Multiverse. Instantly loses if he plays anything above 5 mana. So we need to see how it goes at... Dude, what? That, that's game. Bro, that's game. Straight up. <clears throat> I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't run any counter spells. Holy dude, what an intense match. Wow. I actually, dude, if we came back from that, th that's insane. He doesn't have removal. No, he does have Void Rend. But you ran out of time. Oh no, you have a bit more. GG, my brother. Uh, let's see. Italic G. Let's Chandra. Let's uh, Vraska. I will burn Phyrexia to ash. Let's minus two. Minus two. And guess we can just deal with this. I don't care about the Wandering Emperor that much. GG! Yep, we won by milling. We won by milling. Actually shameless. <laughs> I nice. pill for you. So, Tefari, March, I don't care. Get Lost, I don't care. I do care about you. Wait, he has no lens. What? what? <laughs> dude, what was that keep? Holy dude, no. We ranked up. Oh my god, last game took us like 20 minutes and this game 20 seconds. This is hilarious. GG though, it was super fun match. Holy.